in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program known here on the World Wide Web as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your brother. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. In the beginning, when I first began to think upon what I would say, I was thinking about what they call ether somebody, making mockery of somebody. I mean, just hoping that I could say something or do something to make a laugh fest on this person that we know of as Harvey Superboy or Mr. Superboy. Two, two, two. That's the way I was thinking in the beginning. However, it would be wrong to continue to feed the flames of silliness, and he himself made a video. Whereas he stated that someone must be the adult. However, it is clear that it seems it is impossible for him to be the adult as he continues to smear my name and throw my name through the mud based on unproven accusations and allegations and that is fine because I have faced that all my life and have been up against those who were much stronger and more powerful than Mr. Superboy 222 could even imagine so his allegations and his accusations does not bother me in the least. However, what does bother me is my own behaviors, my own fault, my own error. Because I wonder, is it possible that this title that I've given myself of being the most powerful voice on YouTube has that gotten to my head? And have I or am I abusing such power to become a bully? And this is something I do not want. I have nothing against Mr. Superboy 222. And his allegations and accusations, when you think about it, something that his trolls, well, let me say this out of more respect. I don't know. I would say his audience. I'm not going to call you a troll. I need to get out of this mindset because we are not enemies. We have a disagreement over an opinion. And this is what disagreement over opinion has been brought to. And since we don't want to admit our error, then we need to distract so that people will begin to focus on the distraction rather than that which caused the so-called beef to begin with. It began with a sister's question. 
and that person did not like that sister asking that question because clearly they had no real answer and did not want to admit maybe I need to do a little more research. I've done my research but perhaps maybe I need to look in, into this a little more. But instead, name calling and slick ways of talking about somebody and making mockery, that is not necessary. And that is a very prevalent problem on YouTube among black people. And I guess it's because we suffer from an inferiority complex. One black person always wants to be smarter than another. Greater, superior. Because the Caucasian people or the pink people have made us feel as though we are nothing. So we become all hasidity, pompous and arrogant among ourselves. But when facing the enemy, we make excuses for the racist. And we don't get pompous and bougie with the races. But all the hate. I listen to his words. And I read the comments. Of those listening to his hate filled words. And I have no hate. And I have never expressed hate for this man. I have not even called this man a liar. What I have asked. And what this sister have asked. And what many of us only want to know is that you are making accusations or allegations. We only want to know what is your source and prove what you say. As a person wrote to me speaking of speculation. Why would you want to speculate something that even the racists themselves do you know how wonderful a defense or an excuse that would make for the racists who were involved in the death of Emmett Till? But even the racists have not blamed black people for the death of Emmett Till. You are implying and making serious allegations against these men who suffered under Jim Crow. And I was born. I was born under Jim Crow. So I understand the mentality because I saw it in my grandfather and my relatives being in Mississippi, one of the most racist states in this nation. For those of you who are waiting for me to bash and make mockery of Harvey Superboy, then and Harvey Superboy, if you're waiting for me to bash you and make mockery of you or whatever, then you will be greatly disappointed because somebody has to be the adult. And this is, this is and will be my final response because there's nothing else to say. I met Harvey Superboy in person. Harvey Superboy is a nice man. Harvey Superboy was a gracious host. Harvey Superboy was a brother acting among brothers. It is sad that you would think so low of me that I would troll you for some unknown reason for two years as you say. I'm not going to go into your allegations and your accusations because that's up for debate. But you don't want to debate because that's all it is. A belief, an accusation or an opinion that you cannot prove. Is it that serious? What harm has come to you? The only harm I see that has come to you that you do not that you do not like is the fact you don't like being questioned and you believe you know it all 
And when people show that you don't know it all, you get all upset. You use the wrong example for what you were trying to present before the people. And it is horrific implication or to imply that these poor black men during the era of Jim Crow where they live in fear, you would say for some reason that these black men wanted to kill this young child. And then I tell you, because of your military experience, how many children have you murdered? Then you get upset. You can blame another person and call them a child killer. But now it's your turn and you want to get upset. Who knows how many children? And this is speculation. Who knows how many children? But one thing is for sure. Being a soldier in the United States military in Iraq, if you did not kill nobody, in legal terms, you would be considered an accessory to the crime. Every soldier in this nation involved with any American war, you are an accessory to a crime and they use your body for whatever reason they use you to commit crimes against humanity why would I and you cannot think of it yourself what is going on here why would I troll you what why would I cause you harm a gracious host a kind man you invited me to your home so I wouldn't have to pay for a hotel. What is the sense? Think about it. But see, you talk about black women. Tommy Sotomayor talks about black women. And y'all are so emotional. You don't take the, the time to really think nothing out. You act on emotion. And see, I can speak how I am speaking because I am not acting on emotion. I have set around and really began to think about what I want to say and it has nothing to do with bashing you it has nothing to, to do with making mockery of you in fact I feel sad for you because you're a good man at heart but you don't want to look at the man in the mirror the reason why I can call myself the most powerful voice in YouTube is because I learned from my error, my mistakes, and my experience. And believe me, I am learning from this particular experience. I am not going to, and there is, it is not necessary for me to talk about your accusations and allegations because they are unproven. And those who listen to me are self-thinkers because something here just don't make sense. It may be beyond my comprehension, but something here does not make sense. And you can't see it because you are emotional. Like the women you talk about. Not that I talk about. You say those things. You talk about the single mother do this and the black women do that. That's your talk. That's not my talk. You want to blame me for everything that has happened to you. That don't make any sense. But you know, you and all these others, you can blame me for everything that has happened bad in your life. You can blame me for knowing what you don't know. However, because I can handle it. I've been handling it for a very long time. Because I can handle it, that's the reason why the Caucasian racist pink people and Google itself wanted to eliminate my voice 1,000% from this media. And even you yourself, 
You can't handle me verbatim, so you seek to flag. What does this say about you? I don't flag people. And if I have a problem with you, there is no need to troll. I can take you on face to face. There are those who say, my ego is getting to me. Well, you are helping my ego because I ask for debates and nobody wants to debate me. And why is this? Everybody tuck tail and run. And then there are those who hide their faces, who believe I'm supposed to waste my time with a faceless troll for free. I'm not going to do that. You pay me. And I will whip your ass. For. For. the For a fee. Because the bottom line. That's what's going to happen. Again. I'm not here. To mock you. Or. Or. Or anything like that. Because. And I want those. Who. Comment on my page. This is not about mockery. There is only one enemy. Mr. Superboy 222 is not the enemy. Harvey Superboy is not my enemy. This other troll. That keeps talking about. I'm going to see you in court. I'm going to see you are not my enemy. And if you want to go there. I can handle anything that you throw. Because you have no foundation you had your your case and what you're talking about has no merit it will get it won't even be get, before it can start it will be stopped stop being emotional here we are you talk about black women they are so emotional I have never seen so many crying and whining black men in my life. Pathetic. It's pitiful. And the very men that act like women, the same women they talk about, are the, are the ones with these videos. But then when a man step to you, when another man step to you, then y'all tuck tail. But you will argue with a woman all day long, you'll talk about the woman all day long. How many videos have you made talking about what some woman is saying? How many videos have you made talking about the troll this, the troll that? I could care less about trolls. It was the false flagging that does the damage. Trolls don't do damage unless they are false flagging. You complain about false flagging, then you do the same thing trying to silence somebody's voice. That's the reason why they false flag. They false flag because there is a truth they do not want others to hear. I have no intent and will not false flag you. I do not drop your name. There's no reason for none of that. I offer you and invited you to debate, you don't want to debate, that's the end of story, after this video, I am done, there, because, there, what is, there's nothing else to say, talk about, I have made my point, and then, some of y'all talk about my ego, well, you continue to feed the ego, because all your heroes, with all your views, with all your intelligence, if you smarter than me, if you right, debate me, come talk to me, beat me up, shame me, so I can learn a lesson, because I want to be a better person, I don't want to be wrong, I want to be right, and if you can help me be right, I will <laughs> applaud, I will shake your hand, thank you so much, Harvey, for putting me on the right path. In religion. It talks about. God or Allah. And the person that pray every night. Seven times a day. To Allah. 
you ask Allah, Oh Allah, please keep me on the right path. But some of y'all are troublemakers. Some of y'all are drama queens. You grown men and you drama queens. Because you like the attention. Oh, oh woe is me. Look what Angel did to me. Angel did this. Angel did that. So pathetic. Then some of y'all turn around. Don't blame the white man. But it's alright to blame Angel. Oh, Angel did this. The Angel did that. But when it comes to racist Caucasian people. Oh, let us not be victims. Let us not be victims. The dark Europe. European mentality, you have, your, your mentality is confused and you are strange creatures, dark Europeans. And out of all the symbols you can use, you're going to try to call me a Sambo or a Coon. That's laughable in itself. As I've done nothing. And that was not the reason why my channels were terminated. It is because I am a black liberator. I awaken the minds. I am a Jesus. I make the blind see. The lame walk. The deaf hear. And that's what you should be doing. But that's something that you can't do. The job was not given to you. The only thing that you can do is report on the news. And talk about your personal experience. And you have no research to even back up the things that you talk about. I don't rely on research. I focus on logic, reasoning, common sense. I don't need history. Now, again. Harvey Superboy is not my enemy. There is no need to continue. And nor will I. Even attempt to try to defend myself. Against these hate filled. Biased prejudice. Unproven. Allegations and accusations. There is no need to. That's the purpose. Of a debate. So we can have like a. A courtroom. And then we will have a moderator. And I asked the brother. That I'm pretty sure that you would like. Brother Gordon Allen. Is that Gordon Allen? Or something to that effect. A brother I don't even know. Never spoke to. Don't know nothing about. But. He has a kind heart. Making a video to the sister. Trying to talk to people to squash beef. And see. That's the kind of heart. That you're supposed to see in this. When you have trolls. Faceless trolls. They, don't, they do not care nothing about you. They do not care nothing about me. They are here for entertainment value. Because if they love you. If they love me. If they love the system. Then they would say. You know. We can, we can be better than this. We should stop being enemies to one another. If you don't want to admit your error. You don't want to admit that. Well that's your problem. You have to live with that. You have been shown. And you cannot prove your allegations or accusations. And that's it. You talk about everything else. Angel did this. And the sister started this, but you have yet to address the root cause. You did not like being questioned and you cannot prove what you were saying. And then you went ballistic. Angel is a troll. Angel been doing this to me ever since I was a little boy. And those who are weak minded, those who also might hate me. Here they come. See Harvey. I told you. See Harvey. Mr. Seward. See I told you. None of you.
useless trolls. I invite you to do to debate, but you must pay for my time. You don't want to do that because it's not that serious. And if people really wanted to prove their allegations or accusations, spend some money. I went to court with Google. It was money. It was time. Y'all not willing to do that because YouTube not that serious. But as long as somebody can keep up some drama for free, there you go. The only source that Mr. Superboy has to support his allegations in the Emmett Till case, whereas he is saying that black men killed Emmett Till, is a YouTube video. It was, it was released, I believe, February of this year, 2013. That, that is your only source of information. You need to admit that. And then you took the information of what you heard in that YouTube video and you ran with it. There is nothing else that you can, that you have, that can support what you're talking about. That's the bottom line. And now, we are halfway in our talk. And I want to continue to say that Harvey is a, he is a victim. A victim of your own arrogance. A victim of your own hypocrisy because you said somebody has to be the adult here. If you cannot prove your allegations, if you cannot prove your accusations, why don't you be adult and just let it go? But you can't because you a drama queen. Tommy Sotomayor is drama queen. Y'all like this kind of stuff. You, you really like this beefing thing. You like it. I am not here to attack black people. My beef is with the racist. And the racist terminated 60 of my channels. And now you want to flag me too. You're not the only first black person that flagged me. I'm very sure. And I know that other black people flag my channels. It's all well and good. But if Google, if Google could not silence my voice, and you said I don't have no views, but yet it's still, somebody is listening to me. They know who I am. Explain this to me. Ain't a snub nub seven, my original channel destroyed. So tell me, why do people keep talking about Angel Snuff Nuff 7? The name is still alive. On Facebook, Vimeo, Daily Motion, MySpace, the only thing these people did was make me spread out. And now I have hundreds of channels on YouTube. So you will be a false flying son of a gun. That's cowardice. In other words, if this really was for real, you would attempt to assassinate me. You and that other troll that has been making threats. You are so hate-filled. And you claim to be adults. And you will kill somebody over a YouTube video. Something you started because you can't prove what you was talking about. In religion, we are halfway through our talk, so just bear with me now. In religion, because this is not about bashing Harvey Superboy. We are talking, having a discussion. I'm not trying to bash. I'm not even trying to make mockery of this man that I met in person who
who was a kind man. And as far as I'm concerned, you are still a kind man. You are still a good brother. As far as I'm concerned, and you can talk about and think about however you want to view. You can blame me for all the things that happened to you in your life. I do not care. You are not my enemy. And I will not treat you like an enemy. All my strength and everything that I am is for fighting the real enemy. However, if you come to prove to be that enemy, then you must be dealt with. But I don't see you as an enemy like that. Nor do I see that other person. I, I believe, and it is my opinion, that you have a Sambo mentality. But I don't view you as a person, as an enemy. You don't like being talked about. That's my opinion. I think that your mentality is that of a dark European. Your mentality is that of a Sambo. I did not say that you was my enemy or none of those things. But I must be truthful with you. I must be honest with you. I am not here to kiss your backside. I'm here to be honest with you. Just because somebody disagree with you does not mean they hate you. I am here to defend black people against our enemies. And if you bring up something that benefits the enemy or help the enemy in any kind of way, then and give them some kind of excuse and attacking black people, then I must defend black folks. So I will be the defense attorney and you will be on the side of the oppressor as a prosecutor. And clearly, y'all must be losing the case because nobody won't debate the issue and put me in check. Kick me in my backside. Show me how smart you really are. Somebody has to be the adult. In religion, it says, think not that you will not be tried. Think not that you will not be tried. Meaning, don't think you're going to call yourself a Christian. Don't think you're going to call yourself a Muslim. And somebody is not going to try you. The government is not going to try you. Your mother is not going to try you. You are going to be tried. And many people claim these religions, they turn out to be hypocrites. Because they was tested. Because they was tested and they failed the test. Here you are. I'm fighting for black people. I'm dealing with black people issues. But you can't even handle the trolls on YouTube. If you cannot handle the trolls on YouTube, if you cannot handle the drama on YouTube, what can you do for black people for real? And you go ballistic and you fall apart because somebody talking about you. I could care less about these people talking about me. Been talked about all my life. The only person that can hurt my feelings is me because I know who I am. And the only thing that can hurt me is when I hear the real truth and I reject it. That hurts me. Because I'm not here to lie. I'm not here to deceive. I'm here to bring us the real truth. And that is the reason why I am the most powerful voice on YouTube. Because I can learn from my mistakes. I can learn from my error. I can admit when I'm wrong. The least you can do is say, maybe I need to look in, into this more. But instead, you want to go out and start clowning people and get upset and become emotional. I've never, let me tell y'all something. I've never been around black men like this. They always talk about the older black man do this. The older black man do that. I've never seen the older black man behave this way. Y'all crying and whining and complaining and slobbing at the mouth. Angel did this. Angel did that. The trolls, the black women. Oh man, I never, I never been around weak men like this before. And then what's more 
disappointed. I question the Caucasian people military. How can you go to Iraq, dodge bullets, and all the things that you experience in Iraq, and then come here and be so weak? That's disappointing. That's not making mockery. I'm just, I'm just asking. How can you be so weak? Be the adult. Then now, you want to continue, and this is a, and this is a lie. I have not called you a liar, but I will call you a liar on this. I did not, and there is no need to name drop anything. There is no need for what? What is the motivation? What's the reason? It makes no sense. Then you and this other fella talk about call the police. I'm going to make a case. You ain't done it yet. Which I'm not worried about it. But you've been saying this for a long time. I'm going to call the police. And we're going to do this. I'm going to go to Hawaii. You make a threat against painless risen. I get on a plane and go to Hawaii and fire you painless. You ain't done it yet. Making all these veiled threats. Now your threat against painless. That can be taken serious. And what this other face is troll. These comments make it to me. That can be taken serious. But still yet it's not enough. Not for the for police to get involved. I am a jailhouse lawyer. I've been dealing with the criminal system. For the last. Almost 15, 16 years. I understand the law. I know what needs to be proven. I know what needs to be done in order for you, for the police to get involved in anything. Y'all just be, y'all just talking and don't have no, you have no, you, you functional illiterate as far as the legal system. You upset because people Destroy your opinion and you think you're so smart. I do not claim to be smart. I don't claim to be an intellectual. But what I do claim is that I have thought about what I'm going to talk about. And then I test myself. So I'm ready for you. <clears throat> I'm the only one. Out of all the thousands of people complaining on Google, talking about being false flagged, I'm the only one that took Google to court. <clears throat> That's why y'all channels is not falling down like they used to. Because of my action. Not your action, because your action was nothing but talk. Google and all these other suckers know I will find you. If I'm really serious about you, that's why the racists start leaving me alone. Because they know I mean what I say. I will spend my money, I will find you, and I will see you in court for real. All this other stuff y'all talking about is nothing but talk. <clears throat> and I'm not going to spend no money, and I know I don't have a case. When I spend my money, track you down, bring you to court. At least there's a 50-50 chance I'm going to bring you down. And now, I'll, I, I have been fighting against flagging. And here you go, flagging video. Because of a title. There was no content in the video. A title. But y'all so intelligent, so smart, uh, know it all. Think not that you will not be tried. And you have failed. I met you in person. You are not a skinny man. You would be considered obese. And you blame me for that. Oh, it's Angel. He put up pictures. Make me look fatter than what I am. No, brother. I met you in person. You're fat. You're not fatter than you am. There are many videos that show you, besides a picture, 
You are still fat. You fat on the picture. This is not making mockery. This is a fact. I met you in person. You was fat in person. You fat on a picture. You fat on video. And you know that you are obese. That's why you stopped showing your face. You made up an excuse why you don't show your face anymore. But that's the reason why. Now, here I am. In some of these pictures, I'm right next to you. How come I'm not fat? I made you fat. You blame everything, so I'm the reason why you are overweight. The reason why you are overweight, and you said this yourself, and I already know, you taking no psycho drugs for your post-trauma. And that's why it's not, a, it's not very good or wise to really mess with you because, see, I know that psycho drugs can cause a person to go psycho and if your hatred, when you go psycho and my picture is in your mind, you will go psycho and hunt somebody down. I understand this. That's a reality. I know this from experience. Not because I believe my opinion. I know this point blank my experience. I was surrounded by people like this. I was attacked because those doctors put in somebody else's mind to hate me and they attacked me. So I know it's possible. <clears throat> those psycho drugs, not only will they make you fat, they cause extreme weight gain, but they will affect your heart. You do not exercise. And you got these this medication that's eating your insides up. This medication messes with your heart and your liver and your, your vital organs. That's what this psycho drug do. It causes organ damage. I am not here to make mockery of you. I'm not here to belittle you. You are a kind man. You've taken this thing way out of proportion. The only thing that was asked of you was where you getting your information from? What's the source? That's where it all started. And because I'm supposed to be your friend, why are you asking me, asking me this? I'm asking you this because I am a friend. I want to know. I want to learn. But you don't want to teach. You want to play ring around the roses. Because really you don't know. You don't want to admit that you took what you got from a YouTube video and you made this as an example that does not apply. The only reason why I brought up your military experience is because you judged these men. So now you are being judged. How come you don't like it? Do you think that they would like for you to accuse them of killing this child? And then the racists themselves did not accuse. I will say this again because y'all hard of hearing. The racists did not accuse no black person of the murder of Emmett Till. They did not charge a black person with the murder of Emmett Till. In fact, black men had to leave the South because they were in fear that the racists would kill them for testifying against the racists that actually did kill this boy. Denzel Washington said in the movie Training Day, he said, that is not what you know, it's what you can prove. Again, y'all are hard of hearing. Denzel Washington in the movie Trading Day, said, it's not what you know. It's not what you believe. It's what you can prove. So, since you want to prove, and you have what it takes to prove your accusations and allegations, then I offer and invite you to debate on this particular issue. I do not care about your weight. I do not care that you was in the military. I do not care because you live in the suburbs. I don't care nothing about your personal life. I want you to show that black men 
with malice intent, killed this child. Because when you imply something like that, you are trying to let the racist off the hook. It wasn't a, it wasn't a racist thing. The blacks hated the child too. What, what is the motivation? What is the benefit? This was a young boy that was visiting from Chicago. These other blacks that live there don't even know the boy except his relatives and those who know the relative. Why would these men, it just does not, it does not make sense. Why would these black people, oh, I want to kill that young Negro. For what? It makes no sense. I will say this in my conclusion and make these two little points. See, black folks, we've never been nothing. Nobody listen to us. Nobody look at us. We got to do stupid things to get attention. We got to color our hair red and green. We got to act ratchet. Don't you know that's what it is? Ratchet behavior. A lot of this behavior that black people, so-called black people exhibit, a lot of it is attention-seeking behavior. Look at me. I'm somebody. So you come on YouTube. And nobody respect your opinion. Nobody don't give a damn about what you're talking about. Your family, your friends, nobody care. But then you come on YouTube, make a few videos, and faceless trolls start coming to you. And if you sick in the head, I hate black women. Then you have a lot of other people that sick in the head. They hate black women too. Then they begin to gravitate towards you and you thought you was nothing. But now all of a sudden, all these sick people start coming to you and all of it, then you think you start knowing it all because all these people are, are saying, yeah, man, yeah, you're right. That's, I always felt that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And YouTube celebrity, YouTube fame starts going to your head. Well, you may say, YouTube fame and celebrity has gone to my head. I don't need YouTube to be a celebrity. I can sing. I can dance. I can tell jokes. I can be an entertainer. And it's never too late if I want to go that route. I'm very good. And the people in the nut house that I was in, they would testify. I'm good. But I don't, I, I don't, I'm not into that no more. I want to see the upliftment and the awakening of a people made lost, deaf, dumb, and blind. That's all I think about. I don't care nothing about getting paid. I want to get paid so I can get my people paid so we can separate ourselves from these people that have tortured us for over 400 years. I'm the one who have trolled you for four years. Now I will say this very quickly. When I made these YouTube channels saving your videos I offered this man. I said I have these channels. I save your videos. Do you want these channels? I offered to give these channels to you. You said, no, nah, that's all right. See, don't be a liar. Don't be a deceiver because you all hurt up. Because, see, that makes things worse. I will still give you those channels. You can have them. They were not for me. I made them to save your videos. Your trolls have done nothing for you. I saved your videos before they was flagged. So I guess you said, well, I flagged your channel so I can save your videos. Because you know that you're going to be famous. That What sense do that make? 
I was on the scene way before you was. I remember when you was a nobody. I remember when your average video views was 50. I directed my, my audience to your channel. What you said just don't make any sense. You make it allegations, accusations, and you can't prove nothing. There's a lot of questions that you don't answer. You just ignore, and your self-thinking audience, they just ignore, and because they just as emotional, non-thinking as yourself. I question things. There's a brother, Andre, who used to be my assistant. And he decided to try to trash and smear my name too. Because I, I do not advocate interracial relationship. Because I would not accept his interracial relationship. I did not. I did not. Reject him as a person. Nor am I unkind to him. As a person. I could care less. About his romantic life. That's something that you have to, to deal with. But this ministry. Does not advocate. Interracial romance. With pink people. It's always pink people. So he gets mad and tries to smear my name. Did not work. And what you're doing will not work because my audience is not interested in you. They are interested in the evolution of their minds. They are interested in the liberation of black people. And this is nonsense. And they would advise me to leave you alone. That's what they would advise me to do because we are not even in the same arena. There is nothing. And I'm not saying this being self-righteous. I'm not saying this being, being having an ego. But nothing, none of your videos put all together can match anything that comes from up out of the reality's temple on earth. That's just the reality, the bottom line. There is nothing that other guy that want to go to, to the police, there's nothing that you have on your page that can match what comes up out of the reality's temple on earth. Nothing. This did not happen overnight. This is 40 years experience. And in conclusion, you want to blame me I'm the troll that sent the women and that's the reason why the women angry at you. When you really look at it, the women are not angry at you because of anything about a troll. The women are angry at you because of the words that come out of your mouth. The things that you write. The black women this and the single mothers that. That's you. You don't blame men for nothing. You don't never say, well, these men this and the single men that. You know why you're not going to say the single men? Because they don't take the responsibility for their children. And then you have a fake guy like Tommy Sotomayor that I heard, that I speculate, has more than one child. He never talks about the other children. He concentrates on one child. What about your other children? By black women. You don't question yourself. Y'all so filled with hate. Hateful people. Against blacks. If you do not know. Just say look. Maybe I made a mistake. I need to research this more. But we going to get angry. Because somebody questioned what we talk about. I'm not going to go back and forth. With people. I already dealt with. Most of these people talk about. Oh. Angel Snub Nub 7 blocked me. Angel Snub Nub 7. Won't do this. I already dealt with you. I destroyed your opinion. Left you in the dust. 
There's nothing else left to say. You want to keep trying. You're not going to win. What's that? What's that song, Michael Jackson's song? The Wiz? You can't win. You can't get even and you can't get out of the game. You can't win. So if I have a big head, if I'm arrogant, if I have an ego, then you feed that ego because you refuse to challenge the wisdom here. And the reason why none of these people, and it's not just Harvey Superboy, I challenged Farrakhan and they blocked me from his Facebook page. I challenged Tommy Sotomayor, the health store, saw our suit and steady, polite. I challenged everybody. The only person that does not get upset when you challenge them is King Noble. King Noble Black Supremacy. He's the only one out of all my years on YouTube, King Noah is the only one who can take criticism. And we are brothers. We are brothers. I even told King Noble, brother, you have a porn addiction because he, he he's into this tantra, this sex stuff. And he got a little attitude over that. But we brothers, we can disagree. We can have different opinions. He does not believe I flag his video because he put a naked black woman on his channel. Oh, Angel Snup Number 7 flagged me because I put up naked black women. Nonsense. What you're talking about don't make sense. When you look at it, something here does not make sense. But you rather blame other people. But, but blame Angel. Blame the sister, blame black women, blame your mother, blame everybody, but never don't blame the Caucasian people. Don't be a victim. Most of y'all don't even know what a victim is. These Caucasian people and everybody in this country, when they have a chance to play victim, they do it. And you think that you some kind of hero. I, I ain't gonna be no victim. Everybody is doing it. Every day in court, somebody is a victim. Every day. And somebody get paid every day because they was a victim. And you so silly and stupid, you listening to these races trying to be some morally correct hero. Oh, it wasn't just the it wasn't the pink people that killed Emmett Till. Blacks killed Emmett Till too. That is not true. Speculation on your part. But not according to the information that we know of. With that said, I'm done. This is a done deal. I have nothing else to say on this issue. And uh, if you want to continue to fly and you would really want to attack me like that, then I will have to take the appropriate actions because that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And that's sad and pathetic. You are not my enemy. Never have been my enemy. You've taken something and blown it way out of proportion because you don't want to admit that you're wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with admitting that you wrong in error, in, in, or, or, or in error, it makes us better people. That's why I am as strong as I am. That's why nobody wants to, do, to debate Angel Snup Nup 7. Thank you for listening. This is your brother. I am your brother. Angel Snup Nup 7. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.